Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Store error code that is 0x8D050003. So the first step is to make sure date time time zone is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date, date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Now click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically is on over here. Also make sure set time automatically is on and then click on sync now. If you receive any error, just click on sync now once again and then go to time and language and go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Now try to install. Now, next step is to clear store cache using WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will reopen Microsoft Store and then you can check still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Microsoft Store. Now for this, you can type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box. Make a right click on Microsoft Store. Go to app settings. First of all, click on terminate over here and then click on repair. And after the repair, launch Microsoft Store and then check still not working. Then perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And after after the reset, you can try opening store once again and then check still not working. The next step is to restart Windows update, Microsoft Store install and background intelligent transfer service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows Update and then set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on Restart. Now find Microsoft Store Install Service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on Start or Restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Apply, click on start. And then click on OK. With this selected, again restart. Now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow then paste the command over here hit the entry key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete once this is complete uh, it will actually install the default Windows apps. And once this is complete, uh, everything will be red. And then you can close this and then relaunch Microsoft Store. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. And then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste all these commands one by one. And then hit the enter key. Copy it, paste it, hit the enter key. Now, once this is done, restart your computer. Restart your computer after this, and after the system restart, open Microsoft Store. Next step is to use mobile hotspot. Now, to use the mobile hotspot, you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then connect to your phone network now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot now once you are connected to the phone network uh, now you can check still not working try installing game or application from library so open microsoft store if you are able to get to the library or downloads if you are able to go to the downloads you can go to downloads and then if you see your application or game over here, yeah, you can try to install it from here. If you see it, then try to install it from here. You can even go to library and check. If you find your application or game over here, try to install it from here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. So copy this command. This command is provided in the 
video description, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, make a right click on Windows PowerShell, and then run this as an administrator, click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the entry key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from here, and then you run this second command. Copy it, paste it, and then hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run DISM, SFC and DISM command. Now for this, uh, type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, and then make sure that you run this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run scan. Once this scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete, restart it be And after the system restart, open Microsoft Store. Next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in Windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to advanced tab over here, scroll down, Make sure use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. All four are checked over here and then hit apply. Apply is important. Hit apply and then click on OK and then relaunch Microsoft Store. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows Update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart the computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to, if you're trying to install any games, uh, you can use Xbox app to install it. So the Xbox app, if Xbox app is pre-installed, you can open Xbox app and then you can find the game over here. You can search the game and then try to install it. If Xbox app is not installed, you can install it from Microsoft Store. But if you're facing problem on Microsoft Store, then in that case, you can go to Xbox website and then you can install it from the official website. You will see download this app option and then you can run this exe file and you can install uh, Microsoft like Xbox app and then try to install it. But make sure that you have to use the account. You have to log in with same account on Microsoft Store. Uh, make sure that you log in with same account, which has the game pass or which has the game. And enter your PIN or password and log in with same account on Xbox app. So you have to use the same account over here. If not, you can sign out, then sign in and select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store and then check. Next step is to install this Xbox identity provider. Now for this, again, open this link in a browser and this will take you to Microsoft website. Click on download and then open Microsoft store. If it is not installed, you will see install button or update option or maybe get option. Install it. In my case, it is already installed. That's why it says install. If you see this, no need to install. No need to do anything. Now, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Again, type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. And then click on run as administrator is important. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. Now to install gaming services, again, copy the second command. Paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key and then click on install or get option to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, now you can uh, check. You can even, uh, yeah. If this does not work in that case, uh, you can you can go to website and in the website, in Google search, you can search for this gaming services repair tool and then go to Xbox support website, the official Microsoft website. And then on this page, you will see downloadable version. So you have to click on downloadable version over here and then scroll down. Still install it. After the installation, you can check. If uh, you face any problem on Microsoft Store, then you can run this. Uh, you can run this download the gaming services repair tool for PC, and then you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow, and let the repair complete. This process will take some time, and once this is complete, then you can open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Once this is done, you will see uh, successfully completed. Completed successfully option over here.
here you can see completed successfully now you can you have to relaunch microsoft store and then check next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services and then you will see all four xbox services make a double click on each one of them one by one set the startup type to automatic you click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok do the same thing over here automatic apply click on start and then click on ok again set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok automatic apply start click on ok windows update automatic which we have already done apply start ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running make a right click click on restart or start make a right click click on start or restart and then find microsoft store install services make sure this is set to automatic apply click on start or restart and then you can check now next step is to fix problem using windows update you can use this so go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your application files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now once the reinstall is done this process will take some time and then you can open microsoft store and then you can check still not working the next step is to update windows using media creation tool now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on accept and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop now click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and then click on finish option and let this close automatically do not close this manually and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file open windows iso file then you will see setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next accept click uh, and over here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then click on install after the installation log into the computer and then this process will take some time and then you can check still not working the last step is to reset windows 11 now before you reset the windows 11 create a backup first because you might lose all the data and application on your computer so create a backup first so for this you can go to windows update and then go to advanced option go to recovery option and then over here you can see reset pc option click on reset pc and then here first option is keep my files which will remove application and settings but keeps your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files application and settings so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for the reset you can go go for cloud download this will download and reinstall windows local reinstall will reinstall windows from this device so you can select the option which you want and then you can follow with the reset then you have to set up your computer you have to start everything from scratch and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the store working and you should not receive uh, this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel